Hello everyone, this is this week's diagram assignment. And for this week, we're going to be drawing cloud families. So I have my, my module open to the cloud families page. We're going to be drawing these four cloud families, high clouds, middle clouds, low clouds, and vertical clouds. I'm going to use this picture as my guide. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to draw two lines here. And I'm going to label high clouds. High clouds are always associated with the word cirrus. I'm also going to put 20,000 foot. So each one of these lines indicates the feet. So high clouds, this is 6,500. Then we're going to put middle clouds. Middle clouds are always associated with the word alto. And then we have low clouds. Low clouds are always associated with the word stratus. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and draw my first cloud, which is cirrus. And I'm going to start in the middle here because I want to use this space for my vertical growth cloud. So cirrus clouds are thin, wispy, and they usually indicate a change in weather. So we're going to draw a few thin wispy clouds. Okay, our next cloud is cirrostratus. Those are also thin and wispy, but a little thicker. And these type of clouds can actually create a halo around the sun or the moon. Okay, then we have our cirrocumulus clouds. These are small patches or ripples. I'm going to put small patches like this. Okay, these are smaller and less dense. Okay, so now we're going to go to our middle clouds. Those are always associated with the word alto. And the first cloud that we have is alto cumulus. Um, again, I'm going to start in the middle, saving room for my vertical growth cloud. These are also kind of like patches or ripples. There's great examples in our textbook. These are a lot bigger and thicker than cirrocumulus clouds. Much denser. Then we also have alto stratus. These are kind of like a transparent veil or layer covering the sky. These are more dense than cirrostratus clouds. Okay, then we have our next cloud family, low clouds, which are associated with strata clouds. So stratus clouds, I'm going to start my stratus clouds over here. Stratus, right, and this is just kind of a thin, dark layer, your stratus cloud. Now, if you have layers and layers, it then <laughs> turns into nimbo stratus clouds.
And this indicates rain. So these are rain. This is rain here falling, right? Ha associated with warm fronts. When the warm front comes, it usually has light rain. So we're going to label this. Nimbostratus. Okay, then we have stratocumulus. Stratocumulus clouds, lumpy, kind of like a lumpy or low lane cloud. Okay, then we have cumulus. which is a kind of a puffier cloud. A cumulus can also grow into a cumulonimbus cloud. And that is our vertical growth cloud that grows all the way up to 20,000 feet. So let's label this cumulonimbus. Remember nimbus means rain. So any cloud that has the word nimbus in it is associated with rain. But cumulonimbus are typically referred to as thunderheads, thunderstorms, hail, wind, lightning. And that is this week's diagram assignment. Don't forget, draw your rain here. You can put hail. Let me know if you guys have any questions.